Hey everybody, Coach Troy here. Now I know recently I've been going over mainly Atari games uh, while going through my video game collections and adding to them. But recently I saw a spot on Facebook Marketplace that was just too good to pass up. And it's over here in this box. Let's check it out. In this box here, there is not just a whole bunch of dust, straight from the 80s, but filled with ColecoVision games. That's right, I got 22 of them for 40 bucks. That deal was way too good to pass up. Only one instruction manual. Let's see what else we got. Now before diving into the box, so I gotta show this off, which is kinda cool. Uh, looking at the edge of this, I'm not sure exactly what it was used for. Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Genghis Hogg. Sorry, Leonardo, you've been replaced. Must have kept their <laughs> Ninja Turtles figures in here. Um, and while that would have been cool to have too, I'm liking what's in here a little bit better. Now as you can see, the conditions of these games, they're just a little bit dirty. So, um, hopefully they won't be too bad to clean up and the majority of them work. Anyway, enough of that. Let's see all what I got. These look like some pretty solid stacks. Here we go. We got Star Trek. That one I'm looking forward to. Venture, uh, I have not heard good things about this particular version, but Time Pilot, this is one I've heard a lot of good things about. Omega Race, War Games. I wonder if this has anything to do with WCW Wrestling. Zaxxon, and that's guaranteed to be better than the uh, 2600 version. Cosmic Avenger! Oh yeah, you already know I'm going to be loving this one. Subrock. Carnival! Mr. Do. Not a huge fan, but a lot of people have said good things. Donkey Kong's one I've already got, but it plays really well. Backwards Frog. Mousetrap. Already got a copy of this Pac-Man clone. Space Panic. Donkey Kong Jr. Gotta be better than the Atari version, right? Rock and Rope. Never played this one, but I've heard great things. Blackjack and Poker. Meh. Pepper 2. Amazing game. I already have a copy, though. Ladybug. Another Pac-Man-style game that I already got a copy of. Everybody's favorite foul-mouthed box jumper in Cubert. And lastly, Buck Rogers. Now it's time to get some cleaning, and I hope I have enough Q-tips. This is really dusty. Doop, doop, ba, doo, ba, doop, boo. Now that is a grimy pile of Q-tips. Now that that's out the way, let's test a few out. We're gonna test out Time Pilot first, because this is one I've heard a lot of good things about. And, um, I don't know, I guess you're just kind of going to different points of history and taking out a bunch of planes. Now, this controls definitely a little bit differently and something you've got to get used to. I never played this for the arcade, but, I don't know, it seems like it could be fun, but i got to get maybe a better controller than the one I got, because it's... Yeah, trying to control this is, is pretty, pretty tough, but, I don't know, i got high hopes for it, so I'll give it another shot. Get ready, player one, for Star Trek. Now, this one seems a little bit glitchy, not sure what's going on. And I'm definitely going to have to read the rule book, but the music is awesome. And it looks pretty cool. I'm not sure exactly which screen I'm supposed to look at. I got three things going on. But, I don't know, it looks like, it looks like this one could be a lot of fun. So, I'm definitely going to check this one out again. Now, Mr. Do, I am not a fan of, never have been... And I don't think that this port is going to change my mind. It doesn't look great. Doesn't control well. I don't know. Some people 
seem to really like this game and will give it praise, but I just... I never saw it, and I, I guess I still don't. I don't know. Yeah, probably needs a little more cleaning in this card as well, because it seems a little glitchy. I hope that's not the game, but I don't know. I probably won't play it anymore. But I will be playing lots of Centipede, because this is one of my favorite games, and looking at this version, it is definitely different. It's super colorful. Like, all the... Uh, all the insects coming at you, it's got way more color than any other versions. And it, it looks a little bit different too, like graphically, check out the spider, the way that moves. It's got way more movement in there. Uh, it looks different. Controls pretty well, even with my crappy controller. Um, I would really love to get the trackball for this. Maybe one of these days I'll, I'll find one of those or just scrounge up enough money to buy it, because I think it'll be worth playing that way. Now, Space Panic is a game I have never played, and I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I tried to test it out anyway, and it looks like you have some kind of uh, load runner style digging out the ground, but um, it's not like you can run over things after you dig them out and you get them in there. So I'm not, yeah, not sure exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna have to read the rule book. Let me know if this one is actually worth checking out. Now, Buck Rogers, Planet of Zoom. This one looks pretty cool. Well, maybe not this one right now, because this is definitely going to need more cleaning. <laughs> Got some weird number glitching going in on that side there. But it looks like a really cool version of um, almost like the, uh, uh, the Star Wars shooters. I like this angle. I don't know. It looks pretty neat, and I want to give this one another try. So I'm going to clean it out, and we're going to definitely get back to this one. And Carnival. This is one that I heard so many good things about. Get Ready Player One. Yeah, it's a little glitchy still. Um, <laughs> now, I've again, I've heard so many good things about it, but I was just like, I, what? How fun could just a shooting gallery game be? There's no way. Uh, but after just playing it a little bit here, even though I'm just, it's just you know, you're fixed on the bottom there, uh, Galaga style, shooting up, trying to collect bullets, not letting the ducks steal your extra ammo. And getting points. Plus, it's got this really cool mini game in here that um, they did not forget, like in other versions, I guess. So, all right. Well, it looks like they're working for the most part, though some I'm gonna have to read the instructions on, and others are gonna need a little more cleaning. Sadly, only got the one instruction book and no overlays at all. But still, 22 games that are working for 40 bucks. I think that's a pretty good deal. So tell me what you think, and what should I get into playing first? This is Coach Troy. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for joining me as I start my journey into the world of retro gaming. If you're interested in my other hobbies of fitness or board games, check out my other channel. Anyways, this is Coach Troy. I'll see y'all next time.